Amongst the already many features in King Size WordPress, we also have galleries. Multiple galleries, such as Colorbox, Fancybox, Pretty Photo, Gallery, Orbit, and Slide Viewer. Along with those different types of galleries, we also have different layouts, such as two columns, three columns, four columns, and a grid layout. Galleries are fairly simple to create, and how we do this is we log into our WordPress dashboard, and once in our dashboard, locate in the menu Galleries Post Type. To create new galleries, you would click the Add New button, but in our example, we're going to just edit an existing gallery. Just like any other post, you give your gallery a unique name so you can set it apart from other gallery posts. You're going to notice right away that there's no content editor inside of the gallery posts. The reason for this is it's unnecessary. The only reason we're using these posts is to house all the images you want to use and display within a gallery on your website. So the first thing we're going to do is click Add Media. In our Media Library tab, we're going to have an option to filter the images. So as this is an existing gallery, we've already uploaded images to this post. So we want to view the uploaded images. Here we can manage the existing images, add more to it, delete, rename, or edit those various images. If we want to upload more posts to this gallery, we click the Upload Files tab and we select more files that we want to upload. One thing that's important to note out is that when creating a gallery, you must upload new files. You cannot reuse existing media within your WordPress installation. So once we've uploaded our desired images, we will see them appear here. All we need to do at this point is click Insert into Post or click the X to get out of this window. Once those images have been uploaded to this gallery post, they dynamically become associated with this post. So now we'll click Update. We can go back to our Galleries Overview. On our Gallery Overview page, we can see that there's an ID column to the far right that has assigned a unique ID to each one of our gallery posts. We will be using these gallery IDs when creating short codes that are calling the galleries into pages and posts. So now having created our galleries, we can go and create a page and add our gallery into that page. So let's go ahead and click Add New. Using our shortcode generator, we can click Add Custom Shortcode. We're going to use the drop down menu to select Gallery, and we're going to click Insert. We're going to want to give our page a title. And with our meta options, we can customize the way the page loads, such as hiding the menu, hiding the sidebar, uploading our custom page background options, or slider image options, or video background options. Now back to our gallery shortcode, we can see that there's an ID where we put the gallery ID. Next we have the type, which we can insert color box, Fancy Box, Galleria, Orbit, Pretty Photo, or Slide Viewer. We have the Layout Selection, which is either 2, 3, 4, or Grid Layout. We have the Order By, which is Random, Custom ID, or Ascending Order. We have the Description option, which we can add a description to our gallery. Being that it is a short code, we can also add descriptions ourselves above or below the gallery shortcode itself. So if you'll recall when creating those gallery posts, I mentioned that there was a gallery ID. So let's go back to our gallery post type and let's go find the associated ID. Here we see scenery and the ID associated with scenery is 249. So we want to go back to the page that we're creating 
and where it requests the gallery ID, we're going to put 249. We're going to click Publish. And once published, we can go view that page on the front end of the website. And we can see that our gallery is showing. By default, it's using Pretty Photo because we did not define which options we wanted. And using default to column layout. As you can see, the text we put above is shown here, and the text we've put below is shown here. Gallery shortcodes can be reused in multiple areas and customized on the fly. For more information about understanding your gallery shortcodes, refer to the documentation. If you have any questions or concerns, we recommend you visit our support forums at rwebmedia.com support.